All systems are go. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. Plan path and inclination of 26.2 degrees. We're hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Patrick is the United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speed and injector pressures all looking good. Now we have the data coming directly from the rocket. The Atlas and rocket carrying Tetris uh, M reached supersonic control. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. Now passing 1 minute into flight. The vehicle is now 3 miles in altitude and traveling at 1100 miles per hour. Standing by for max Q. Now max passing 1 minute and 15 seconds into minute flight. 32 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the, the atmosphere. The RD-180 has throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. This engine thrust profile will continue until the vehicle reaches a program 5G acceleration limit. About two minutes into the flight of Atlas. And now passing two minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the first stage of flight. Vehicle trajectory traveling right down the middle of the range track looking good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also looking good. Booster engine cutoff slated for four minutes, two seconds after launch. The Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,600 pounds per second. And vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And RCS pyro valve has been fired. Centaur reaction control system now pressurizing the flight levels. Atlas V is now 30 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. And now passing three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until booster engine cutoff. RD-180 continues to perform well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. ULA's Patrick Moore providing vehicle ascent data. Three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Now passing three minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Mach 10. And vehicle has reached the 5G throttle limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Less than 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Three minutes, 50 seconds into flight, standing by for BCO momentarily. Six seconds after BCO, the Centaur second stage will separate from the Atlas booster. And we have BCO, booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage step. Ten seconds after separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. The Centaur single RLC engine ignites for the first time. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The RL-10 produces 22,900 pounds of thrust and burns for just under eight minutes. And we have good indication of fairing separation. This is the first of two planned burns for today's mission. This first burn should last approximately 13 minutes and 40 seconds. 
the payload fairing protecting Tedris M during its flight through the atmosphere and has been jettisoned. And operating parameters all looking good. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. The Centaur is now 107 miles in altitude, 350 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,160 miles per hour.